हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ डॉक्टर उमेश कुमार आर्य फैकल्टी ऑफ मीडिया स्टडीज़ गुरु जम्भेश्वर यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हिसार इन द प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल नंबर थ्री फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड परसेंटेज एनालिसिस इन एस पी एस एस वी डिस्कस्ड द फ्रिक्वेंसी एनालिसिस एंड द परसेंटेज एनालिसिस इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल we would be focusing upon the cross tabulation part <coughs> what is cross tabulation these are the variables in the earlier tutorials we calculated the frequency of each variable like how many times times of india's news appeared in the newspaper and how many times hindus and how many times the hindustan times if we want to find out the relationship between the newspaper and the categories then we cannot find it through the frequency method then we have to apply the cross tabulation method for example if i want to find out the newspapers relations with the categories of the news they published so i will have to go to statistics summarize cross tabs then in the rows i would uh take uh categories and in the columns i would take newspapers like i want to make a cross between uh, these categories and the newspapers and uh, i will click this cell and i will get the percentage in row so i will continue and i can click this one also it will display the clustered bar charts and then i will click okay now it is analyzing yeah yeah now it has analyzed this see how we can analyze the data in this like the the relationship between the news category <coughs> and the newspaper is very clear we can say the times of india out of the 263 news it published 104 news of the political category ht sorry yeah let's understand it in the from the category perspective like we can say that the political news category has total 263 news out of 1243 and out of these 263 news TY published 104 political news HT published 64 political news the hindu published 95 political news and the percentage is 39.5 24.3 36.1 uh, respectively like we can do the data interpretation for other categories also crime there were total 250 news of crime out of 1243 total and times of india gave 77 news items ht 81 the hindu 92 and these are the percentages like you remember that we click the percentages in the row it means this is the row this is the row and this analysis is in the row wise which means that it will be calculating the percentages of 104 news items out of 263 which is in a row if we calculate it in the 
column wise then what we can do is we can again go to cross tab then <coughs> we can select column this time continue and we can press ok now yes ok now this calculation is from the column perspective like 104 news items they are the same 64 is the same 95 is the same and 263 is the same because political news they are 263 and this is their representation by different newspapers but this time see the percentage is slightly different 26.5 now this percentage is out of the total news items given by the Times of India like Times of India gave 392 total and this is the dissection of Times of India's percentage given to the different news items for example for defense category Times of India gave 3.6 percent representation which translated into 14 news items so this is a column wise percentage so friends it is up to you whether you want to calculate it from the column wise perspective or the row wise perspective both of them are good we should search for the news element inside this table be it the column wise or the row wise and below is the clustered bar chart now it is not simply comprehensible we cannot make anything out of this chart now so we will double click this and we would format this again we would do bar area mm. change scale to 100% now see it is it has been changed to 100% if we would click on this then again this and then apply now and then we will close this so now it's very clear HT is in the green color TY is in the red color Hindu is in the blue color so these are the percentages from the column side like it is very easy to interpret the data with the help of this chart it is very difficult to analyze the data from this table because it is too complex but this visual is very easy like we, we can say now that uh, the Hindu gave maximum representation to the business and economy news like this bar is maximum for the Hindu that is 58 percent and Times of India gave maximum coverage to the defense news like you can see the bars length along with the percentage and below is the name of the category so friends we can easily calculate the relationship between the two variables like normally in the content analysis studies we make a cross of newspapers and other variables like in the first table we would be crossing newspaper with categories then we would be crossing newspaper with the source then newspaper with photos and it will take this shape like uh, newspaper would be in uh, this column and all other variables would be in the row wise columns in the row wise uh, fashion then color photograph and place 
and then we would click OK so you will get a complete picture in a one go like you don't have to cross the variables again and again you just take newspaper in one column and all the other variables in the row form and we would click OK so friends this was the cross tabulation between different variables the frequency analysis and the cross tabulation analysis they are known as the descriptive statistics they just, just describe the data they don't tell anything more than the frequency and the simple relationship between the two variables the real statistics is much more than the descriptive statistics but as far as mass, study, mass media studies are concerned and the humanities research analysis is concerned uh, we can still publish good papers by using these descriptive statistics only so it is always advisable to fill the data yourself carefully and analyze the data yourself rather than seeking the help of an expert statistician it gives you independence and even still you can consult the statistician for your further uh, higher statistical text like uh, ANOVA, uh, Pearson correlation, t-test, f-test etc. So that's the cross tabulation. Thanks for watching.